I'm Wendy Stevens from the ComposeCreate.com blog and I wanted to share with you an answer to a question that I frequently get and I thought it would be fun and a lot more useful to share it with you as a video. So some teachers ask me how in the world do I give my students these studio licensed piece in such a way that they actually keep them um, looking really nice and so just briefly if you bu uh, purchase a studio licensed piece from ComposeCreate.com you can actually make as many prints or as many copies of that particular piece that you need to for as long as you're teaching. It's that particular piece you just buy a studio license for each piece and then you only have to pay one one price for that. So how in the world do you keep your students music from looking like this when they practice it for a number of weeks or if you can't see this, this is pretty wrinkled and actually frequently it looks much worse than this. There are dog prints on it and and stains on it and one of my students even had trouble with um, chocolate and candy in her bag and so her music ended up being stuck together and looking really nasty. How do you keep that from happening? Because I don't think kids were made to really keep paper pristine, so I don't think it's you know reasonable to expect that they can do that naturally. So how do we help them out with this? Well, first of all, you could do it with a three ring binder and that's what I used to do, but that kind of gets heavy after a while. And so I love the new system that I've had for a couple of years that really helps with this because the way that you can use this is in so many different ways. You can use it uh, for assignment books that you put together. You could use it for summer camps that you put together. You can bind a lot of, of paper together. And then the great thing is you can unzip it and add more to it. And you can't do that if you send it to a print shop and they bind it for you. It's pretty permanent at that point. So I just wanted to share with you how this works if you're interested um, then maybe that will be helpful to you. So what I have is called the GBC ProClick system and then um, all you need is this and then ProClick spines. And if you'll scroll down, if you're on the blog post on ComposeCreate.com, you'll be able to see actually some links where it will take you to these uh, places. So what you do then is you take the music that you want to put together and you basically put holes in it. So for instance, I'm gonna put drastic measures together with some other music I have. So I'm gonna place it in the system and I just do that and then voila, it has nice holes in it. And then you add that to the other music that you've done that to. And by the way, students actually love doing this themselves. So that's something that's nice to help have them do this on their own. And then you take the, the binding and you actually just put it in there. It's really, really easy. And then you take the zipper. They call this the zipper that comes with each of these bindings and you actually zip it all up. And so again, this is what the students really find fun. Let me make sure I have it all lined up. And then you just zip it like this. And then you end up with a really nice binding for your music. But wait, I forgot a piece. So if you forget a piece, the great thing is you can use this part of the zipper and you can unzip it like that. And now it's open again and you can add the bold escape perhaps. And then you would just zip it up again. So this becomes really, really um, useful and flexible, especially if you've got things to add to, uh, to a collection. But of course, this whole book is not about the bold escape. So I always put a cover on the front and that's what I'm excited about today. I want to give you some free covers. So even if you use a three ring binder, as long as you buy one with a clear plastic cover, you can use these covers that I'm going to give to you. I thought it might be kind of fun to make some thematic covers. And so for instance, one of my students really likes The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. And so I created this cover for him um, that looks like that. And down here, these are actually a, a Word and, and Pages files, and it's not a PDF, so you can actually adjust this particular um, setting or this, these particular words, and this is a, a graphic, so you can just change that to be whatever you want. And then if your students love minions, then you've got this. If they love, if they just love girly sort of fonts, that's there. This is a little bit Star Wars-esque. And so um, those are available free for you. All you need to do is scroll down and you can click on the button and you should be able to enter your email address, click on it again, it will send you these editable, editable files in your email. So um, what that looks like then, it's pretty impressive after it's all said and done, you unzip it and then I wanna add the 
Hobbit one because that's one of my favorites. And then you zip it back up. Sometimes you have to zip it twice and then it looks much more impressive that way. And then you put a cardstock on the back of it and it's pretty sturdy in a student's bag. So hopefully that's a help to you. And if, if you have a comment or a thought about how you um, can make this even better or what you do to store your students' music that's digitally produced, then definitely leave a comment on this blog post and don't forget to download your freebies and then share it with some teaching friends if you have a moment. Thanks so much.